So our 2018 Hardtail of the Year test, we had three different price points. Now, this is the winner of the sub £500 category, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And it's the Vetus Nucleus VR. Winner of the test two years in a row, actually previous. So this is, it's, this is the hat trick. It's basically done it three years in a row. And like, I'll be straight up. I mean, I oversee the entire Hardtail of the Year test, but specifically I test the, 500, the sub £500 bikes and it's the easiest test. And like, why, is, why is that? Well, because this bike's just like so much better than competition. Okay. <laughs> so all the bikes turn up. I put this one to one side and then I ride the other five and get a running order for them. And then I get the best bike from, those, from that five, which this year was the Pinnacle, which is a new bike. Um, and then I ride it back to back with this because it's just, in, it's just, in, it's, it's in a league of its own. <laughs> and like, I mean, and there's, and there's a couple of reasons why, like we start from the ground up, it's got the best tires. Like it's yeah. got a vigilante on the front. Yeah. Like that's a proper mountain yeah. bike tire. That's it's got meaty. like it's got like knobs on yeah. it. So like you got grip and stuff and like so that's really cool. And then it's got a trail boss on the mm. rear, um, which means like it's still got good good like reasonable size. It's not a semi slick by any mm. means, um, but it, like it keeps the tempo a little bit higher. Like it rolls mm. fast, um, so that gives a real advantage. And like this year, Vetus has actually put wider rims on this bike to go with the. To kind of yeah. to reflect the volume of the yeah. tire, which is great because like the, every little bit's being refined on it. Um, but the big change is this is like a brand new frame. So right. although it's the same name and the same bike that we associate with like Hardtail of the Year, they've done a lot of work on it. It's got a slacker head angle. It's a little bit longer. It's a little bit lower. And like the quality of the frames like way higher. In fact, I mean, you look at this bike and you look at the thousand pound Mm. The Vetus that won the oh, thousand yeah. pound carry. They look really yeah. similar. I mean, the frames look really similar. Yeah, yeah. They both look really good quality. Yeah. But what really separates this bike, it's the fork. It was the only air sprung fork in the sub five. Right. Like and, 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 and it's oh, it still is. Yeah. So basically, we can all ride this bike with nothing more than a shock pump. Mm. We basically just attach it to the fork, put some air in, and we can all get basically the ride height mm. that we want from the 120 mil travel suspension fork, like for, for all of us. And you yeah. can't do that with any of the other bikes. Yeah. Basically, they're all coil sprung, so you're gonna need, you're gonna take take the fork apart, change the spring, mm. and like that sounds that's straightforward enough. But you try finding the mm. spring for some of the forks on those bikes. Yeah, yeah, it's not, super difficult. You're not gonna get, you're not who's gonna, gonna want to do that on a 500 pound bike anyway? It's who's gonna want to do it anybody? Yeah, I mean we <laughs> I've got, we had that seven and a half gram Mondraker, and I had someone message me on Instagram to say, hey, are you coming out riding this weekend so I could tr try your spring? Yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, so, so there's, like, it's just not going to happen. And the other thing that's really cool about it is it's got an externally adjustable rebound damping. Yeah. So basically the, the energy stored in that, in that air spring rebounds when the mm. fork extends. So we all need different rebound damping. Mm. And you just basically turn the dial at the bottom of the fork yeah. and, and match the rebound damping to the spring rate. And like, it just takes the ride quality to, to a whole other level. Yeah. It's, like, it's great. I mean, the other thing with this bike, it's got a two by drivetrain, not as good as the one by drivetrains that you find on the 750 pound bikes and the thousand pound bikes, but it's definitely better than a triple. Yeah. It's got like a decent gear range. It's yeah. quieter than I remember. And I think maybe just because it comes with the neoprene um, chainstay protector now. So that mm. damps the sound a little bit. So you get, you get the range, but you it's get, not quite as heavy. It's not quite as complicated. And yeah, it's not as heavy as a triple. And, the, and, and basically the shifter works better too, because mm. it only has to deal with two chain rings. Yeah not like across all three, like yeah. on a triple. Um, so basically the chances of actually getting the gears you need when you need them mm. are way higher with it with a two by setup. Yeah. A couple of other things, some of the bikes didn't have quick release seat collars. It's got quick release seat collars so you can raise and lower yep. your saddle really easy. It's got a nice stubby stem, bars are a good width. Mm. So, put, so they really, go, it goes well with like the head angle and the steering characteristics of the bike. Um, it doesn't feel too harsh. I mean, it's a hard tail. And like if you go down really rough tracks, I mean, mm. I mean, you, you'll be you, you'll you be can feel it, around, but right. you'll do that on any any yeah. bike, even on like a super expensive hardtail, mm. that will happen. And what's really cool about it is that, like, I I've got this thing with hardtails that you can spend a lot more money and not get a much better bike mm. because ultimately the frames, you I mean the, maybe they improve the budding, they improve the mm. geometry slightly, but there's really small changes. Mm. And the real changes on a hardtail are when you get a better fork, mm. when you get better tires, when you get a dropper post, and like. This bike doesn't need better tires. It's got a decent fork, and really all it needs is a dropper post. And they've added internal rooting for a dropper post this year, and not like internal rooting where some of the brands just put like a little. Yeah. You've seen it. Yeah. yeah. They put a drill a hole here, and you basically run the cable down here and up into the tube. It actually goes in here. Right. On the so it actually goes super in through clean, your down yeah. tube. Yeah, all the way down, super yeah. clean, and 
Like that's such a nice touch on a 500 pound mm. bike. They're not just thinking, oh, it's only a 500 pound bike. Or we just drill a hole in it and then call mm. it um, stealth dropper ready. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, so this was yeah. quite, quite a way ahead of the rival still or did, had um, they been creeping up slightly? Yes, no, I think the, the Pinnacle bike is... Well, that's, pretty, an, that's an Evans own brand. It is an Evans yeah. own brand. Yeah. And that's a, nice, that's a nice little package actually. Again, it's not got an air fork, it's coil. Yeah. It does have external rebound damping, which is really good. The position on it's nice too. Maybe a li- little bit less aggressive than this bike, so less for like less slamming berms yeah. and manual and throwing it around, like a little bit more for like putting the miles in. Let down by the tires. So how much is this bike this year? It's four nine nine ninety nine. Okay. So a penny shy. Yeah. It's one penny less than five hundred pounds. Okay. Pounds, so. But we know what Vitas are like, and they always tend to uh, yeah discount they, them, don't they, they? Yeah, they do. They sort of launch a bike, and then you get it on test, and then it's ten per- automatic ten percent discount. So you but, never know. But when I reviewed this bike. Mm. Maybe they kind of realized that, well, we've got the best bike mm. in this class. They don't need to discount this yeah, bike. Yeah. I mean, it's worth like, the 500 pounds. I'll go straight on the record here. This is better than any of the 750 pound bikes okay. in the wow. test. Right. For sure. Well, that's a, yeah, that's, yeah, I makes mean, it a bike worth having, doesn't it? Yeah, totally. I mean, so, so why would you discount it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they'd be crazy too. <laughs>